there, ladies, gentlemen, and unicorns, and congratulations, everyone, on, let's say, winning the pop quiz, because Frank is not here today, who has memorized all the answers. Oh, I'm sorry, he's not, he not just memorized them, he really knows them. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? And I just realized I closed the chat um, when I changed the screen resolution, so please bear with me as I try to get it back. So... If you wrote anything in the past couple of seconds, I'm really sorry that I couldn't see it. Okay, there we have the chat. Then let's revert the screen resolution. It wouldn't be a stream of yours truly <laughs> when everything would have worked right off the bat. There we go. There is the chat and I can see it also here. So Ashley is moderating the chat right now and Kersey is only is that he is only third place, but you know what? In my book, you're all winners because you're here and you played the quiz with me. And yes, I keep promising you quiz questions every week now. And yeah, I, sorry, this week I didn't add any new ones because I want I, I don't want to augment the set that we have now, which is years or old already. I want to have an entire new set and it's no fun if it's just like 10 or so. So this is why I'm collecting questions. So if you have any ideas or suggestions for genres or topics, of questions, um, then please let me know. I it's 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 getting incredibly hard to have questions where uh, that everyone can feel like they know this super niche topic because Frank is not that good with anything console gaming, right, or Nintendo. Uh, which is a staple of my childhood. Then again, of course, um, he's very good with early 80s computers and programming languages. So I want that everyone here, uh, roughly in the community of Pixel Prophecy, that their uh, interests are met. As I'm meeting now my microphone again, I forgot the counterweight. So this is why things are weird. And yeah, so that everyone can have fun with the quiz. So let's have a look at said quiz. And Kirsty Boo says, nice haircut. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's not a haircut. That's that's the problem. See? So those are my roots. So this this dark brown, as I say, uh, mousy color is my, uh, some of you probably know my actual hair color. And I neither had time nor money to get a proper haircut because um, usually this takes like bleaching it all up and making this uh, wonderful silvery it takes about three to four hours usually and costs a lot and the problem was that I was having uh, in the past where whenever I went uh, to get my hair done they would clip off a little bit more than they did last time and so my hair would kept getting shorter and shorter and right now I'm at a point where um, it's at a super weird length where um, if, if I don't wash my hair <laughs> daily uh, if I just sleep with this hair, um, it, it gets flat on one side, but on the other I get this, I don't know, peacock thing going on and it, 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 it looks super, super um, um, hobo-y. And yeah, so um, I'm, I'm holding off for when I get paid for the next month and then try to see a professional to can to fix this mess here. Anyway, thank you for noticing. <laughs> Let's call it a haircut. But uh, yeah, this is my hair situation. But we are here for the game jam situation. Um, as far as I know, um, right now Mike is doing his uh, traditional thing of posting every, what was it, 15 minutes or so, or every 10 minutes, um, the top 15 um, contestants of Ludum Dare. 56. And um, yeah, this is a funny coincidence because, as you know, as you're here probably, I'm playing your Ludum Dara game. So maybe, fingers crossed, we even get to play a winner today as long as they have submitted. So, um, right. Let's um, start then. But first, let me see if Ludum Dara on... <laughs> on Blue Sky has posted something and I already have a notification. Oh, thank you, Yirji, for liking my post. <laughs> um, results, Ludum Nare 45. So 16th place is already known, so let me switch over. And I should probably clean the bug squad because this is not what we have here. So it's here, CLS. Clean. Yes, there we go. So we already have a, fifth, a 16th place. 
<laughs> but we're waiting now because as far as I understand, Mike uh, has some new automation in place uh, since we're not, we are, I'm, I'm saying we because I'm, I'm seeing myself as part of the Ludum Dara community. Uh, Mike and the Ludum Dara side is not on Twitter anymore or not in a broadcasting fashion at least. So uh, he rigged up this system to post um, the, the top 15 now to uh, Blue Sky. So let's let's cross our fingers that this is working while we are playing. Um, Yeji said, I signed up to Blue Sky for LD results, but still nothing. Oh, already. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's wonderful of you that you're here on Blue Sky. For those who don't know, but uh, probably you should know by now. Yeah, I, I started to to uh, discontinue my Twitter. I mean, I'm still there on Twitter and occasionally I still pop in. But um, yeah, with with everything that, that fucking Elon has done to it and what kind of... Uh, bots and people and things are happening on there it's 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 i, I was living uh, for a long time in denial that it was really that bad but it, it it the the final straw was this this blocking feature that probably is a field day for all stalkers and yeah i, I don't want to be among the crowd who says yeah it doesn't affect me so yeah this is why i'm on blue sky and on mastodon.gamedev.place i think uh, it is the game dev community on Mastodon. So um, if you want to follow me there or haven't already, yes, I'm there. That's that's my point. So it's, it's pixel prophecy. You will find me. It's always this beautiful face here with a much better hair. Um, Blue Sky is going on crypto, I hear. Why? Cursey, no, please. <laughs> Why can't I have just this one little thing? Okay, then I'm, I'm mostly on Mastodon right now. I'm on Mastodon and... Please don't say anything about crypto on Mastodon. You just have to pick your battles. Nowadays, as soon as you're on a service, you're, you're just beholden to the seas of capitalism shaking your little nutshell that's just trying to survive the onslaught. My god, this got dark very quickly and we're not here for the dark stuff. Instead, we want to play some games. So let me fire up the RNG. Please work, RNG. Yes, it works. And we have 19 entries. And let me see if anyone... Kerpao has submitted Raccoon Romance here. So looks like that's all the games that we've played last time. Um, for those who were here last time, you probably remember um, the automated unicorn died uh, twice during the stream and I had messed up something with the submission. But submissions should now work. Um, if any of you didn't submit their game, just enter exclamation mark and what was it? Submit. And there we go. So the link should work now and the automated unicorn should not die. Crazy Boo says, not meaning to be a downer, sorry, let's game to... Yeah, it's, again, it's, it's just a... It's not you, it's, it's the message you bring. It's the good old, let's kill the messenger! Because they bring always such bad news. <laughs> automated unicorn, don't disagree. You just, you just said where to submit. Stupid automated unicorn. Um, right, so um, those are the games, and I thought maybe we start off with one of my patrons' games and hope that they are here. But as far as I know, uh, Tutvari uh, can't make it until, like, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Tutvari, you're probably not here, uh, like three weeks or so down the line. So I'll be playing some some uh, patrons' Ludum Dara games probably for, for a while now, <laughs> until, until we have all people covered. And again, I always enjoy it when I have the people present whose games I'm playing. Because it's much more fun on my end and also for the developer and it, for me, I mean, I want to play the games without knowing anything about them or no hints from the developer that aren't there on the Ludum Dao page. But then again, it's always good to have this safety guard in place where I feel like I'm doing things wrong and I'm not understanding it so that I still have some fun. And also it's good for the devs or the dev uh, themselves to figure out, okay, we under explained this or Maybe it's just, hey, it's Phil, he's stupid. He, he, he just keeps talking and not remembering what he just read in the description. <laughs> Andrew is here. Tutvari's game is pretty good. Oh, in that case, then we really have to wait for Tutvari. But uh, Andrew JK, since you're here, I think I've seen your game pop up here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
or are you a different Andrew? Because I, for some reason, I keep uh, some people. I, 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 I think I've, I've said this before that for for some reason, some usernames just sound the same to me. But um, yes, this is this is Andrew J K. So the J is you're not just kidding. You're just Andrew just Kennedy. I think that's the thing, right? What a wonderful name, Bug Bash Buggy. It's it's just fun to say this, Bug Bash Bunny, Buggy, not Bunny. Damn it, <laughs> already already butchered it. So let's have a look at Bug Bash Bug Bash Buggy. Oh, I remember this from from uh, you posting the screenshots in the Pixel Prophecy Discord, and doing isometric stuff. Uh, and again, I I mean look look at this little ant here. It's isn't this cute? So um. I mean, it's it's already one thing doing a tile-based thing, but then doing it isometric, Yeji, you know, it's it's quite something else. <laughs> right, squash some bugs and defend the apple. Okay, so it's a big apple. Then again, this uh, so I, I assume this is set somewhere in New York. Ah, and excuse me, just for a second here, something on my phone got annoying. And what was it? Oh. It's, oh, thank you. It's you liking the stuff on social media. Thank you so much. Okay, controls mouse to move. Antivirus node. This game was built with Pi installer, which often gets flagged by antivirus software. This is a false positive warning. The game is safe to run. This is exactly what I would say if I would uh, try to install a, uh, a worm or a Trojan. Anyway, I don't think... I, I, I don't take you for one of these kinds of people, Andrew, so I think we should be good. There we go. I'm also, because we have seen this last time, I changed my screen resolution to something uh, uh, expectable, <laughs> I want to say. Yeah, it's just the original full HD and not something 4K or something that's 2565 uh, or 25. 50 or something, so nothing in between. It's it's good old plain 1920 by 1080. And as always, you already get an upvote, like two thumbs from me, just for making this nice icon. People know that I love little icons. And by the way, I love file version zero. It's it's not even a, a dot one release or something. It's it's just this is version zero. Version zero sounds like a, a nice game. Okay, so I assume there is sound. I'm not hearing any, but this could be on me. Or can I expect sound? Can I full screen this? Yeah, let's let's try to full screen this. Um, no audio. Okay, o on the main screen. Well, then I I keep my headphones open. Okay, so how to play? This is cool that you have. Oh, nice. Okay, soldier, listen up. See that apple over there? Wow, you even have camera movements. The bugs are gonna be all over it. We can't let that happen. It'll ruin my picnic. Fair enough. <coughs> I mean, uh, it'll ruin my trading exercise. Okay, we're well, this little buggy then. That's where you come in. You're piloting the bug bash buggy, the latest uh, in military technology. Let's take it for a spin. Click the left mouse to drive. Oh, just like in real life. Okay, I just click and hold. Okay, this is an interesting way of steering things, but look at this. It works. Try not to scratch the paint. Okay, I will. I try. Look alive, soldier. Aerial recon has spotted. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's. A <laughs> I mean, it's so cute. But I think I have an idea what I need to. <laughs> oh, dear. Target eliminated. That's all for now, soldier. Bring the buggy back to the garage for a tune-up. Oh, there's a garage. Okay, so the, oh, then the main menu. Very cool. I mean, having this entire tutorial thing with different states and even an in-game uh, or, or an in-world voice telling you what to do. It's not just uh, a text file. <laughs> Uh, a sidecar file to the to the exit file that says read me please uh, very cool oh, okay I think I think I'm well versed to start the game so just drive and squash the insects wave one oh dear oh okay probably shouldn't hit our apple then 
Bugs approaching from northwest. Ants, weakest of the bunch. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, let's wait till you see me drive. See? I like it that you have... <laughs> uh, that you have these obstacles there. Otherwise, of course, it would be too easy to drive there. Wave two. Oh, it's a new wave. Northeast. There we go. Grasshoppers. Tricky little things. Run them over before they jump. Okay, so... It's, it's not just a different... Um, different uh, image or reskin of the enemy oh okay so when once they are in flight i cannot i can't do anything i have to wait until they land okay cool cool i like this wave three round three fight mm -hmm. northwest mm -hmm. so is this always uh, different or Okay, ladybugs. What is it, the thing with ladybugs? Okay, so they take quite the beating then. Okay, I noticed that my car doesn't have any sort of health. So um, the, the, the downside is when I hit something, an obstacle, that it just takes time for me to re-accelerate, correct? Or were there any plans to have health for the car? The east. Okay, so Ivan's coming to eat our picnic. Okay, this has a weird sense of fun. <laughs> oh, there. There's the next wave. Okay. Um, it reminds me a bit of... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why haven't I seen them? Probably because I was driving around way too... Uh, far off where I should have been. Okay, wasn't too hard. Wasn't too hard. Um, okay, you're invincible. Th thank you. <laughs> but this is good. Okay, but but I really like it that you have to to gain momentum because momentum is really the the thing that you get going for you. Okay, should have probably should have read this because it just says these guys are quick. So in that case, it probably will. Oh, there they are. Oh, wow, they're... Come on! They're really quick. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 leave my apple alone. By the way, I like I like the, the crunchy sounds. Did you record yourself eating an apple? Okay, just going around in circles. And what I meant to say was it... Oh dear, I'm, I'm not good. It reminds me a little bit of the joy of running over people in the old GTA. Okay, so our apple has seen some wear already. I ate an apple for the bites. I squished eggs in my hand for the bug squashing. Nice. Nice. Okay, north something. Northwest, right? I like also this, this bug meter here. More bugs from this. Uh, okay, so probably I should just... Stay put. I like the, the pixel style. Okay, so it's these kinds of bugs. Where's my mouse pointer? Where's my there's my mouse pointer? Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Uh, this is strangely intense. They're making a final assault. Protect the apple. Yeah, I'm trying. No, oh, come on. This is harder than it seems. Oh no, not you again. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, those darn ladybugs. Those darn ladybugs. There goes the apple. Wow, okay, this got intense quite quickly. Oh, I don't think... Come on! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, dear. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Oh, no, the 103. Five, six. Oh, no, th there goes the apple. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
<sighs> it's over, abort mission. I was, I was close, but this is... Uh, better luck next time. Waves cleared. Five of six. I programmed most of the waves during submission hour. It's not very balanced. I've noticed. I've noticed. But I, I mean, it felt kind of balanced. It, it felt like I, I should have been doing a bit of a better job in the last wave. So, I mean, let's try this once more and see if I'm doing slightly worse. Probably. Usually I have this beginner's luck when I'm playing games. Probably should have cracked open a window. Okay, so northwest. So it's not just random where they approach, they're always from from the same. Uh, they're always approaching there from the same side, right? I really like the counter. By the way, as for the pixel graphics, was there this is not Pico 8. No, it's not. Otherwise I wouldn't need to have this Pi installer, right? Okay, all waves are scripted. Oh, I can't even drive there on the water. I thought this might have been a, uh, a pool where I drown. But this makes sense, of course, that I get slower. That's a really nice uh, balance where, yes, I am invincible, <clears throat> but this doesn't make it easy, especially with the ladybugs. <coughs> Excuse me. Custom engine written in Python and STL2. I mean, it, it feels very... Um, uh, responsive. So very cool. Custom engine. So is this just for isometric games or can you do pretty much anything 2D based with it? Where are they coming from? I probably should have read. <laughs> I think from here, right? No, probably not. There they are. Yeah, the ladybugs, really, they are literally the hardest. Because when I'm trying to run over one ladybug, especially in the last wave, you've seen how this went. Okay, it's a generic 2D engine. Awesome. And also with the text system there. Very cool. So essentially, you, you've made your own game maker, so to speak, then. Okay, I don't like what's happening here. From where are they approaching? There, from here. And these guys here. So I just wait for them to land. There we go. And before the other ants come, quickly run over the ladybug. Okay, cool. Cool, look at this. Pristine apple and we're at wave five. Also, I like um, the movement of the camera because um, it's a little bit sluggish, but in a good way. So where, where I feel, okay, when I return to the apple, I don't even know how bad it is. So these guys are quick. Where did they come from here, right? Oh, they came from... The desert. So, any one of you uh, remember the cinema where game? It came from the desert. This pulpy B movie kind of game with beautiful graphics on the Amiga. And it was about giant ants coming from the desert. Something aliens, radioactivity, you know, the usual. I tried to play it, uh, had problems with it, to be frank. <laughs> it wasn't as um, straightforward as I'd hoped it was, but it looked gorgeous. I mean, that's why they call themselves Cinemaware, because they had all these trained artists and taught them how to do pixel art, and their games just looked great. Maxi TV says, of course, ICFTD, it's a classic. Yeah, I mean, all these cinemawares, like the Defender of the Crown and what was the other, the Rocketeer. Probably should have read again what it said here. 18. Okay, we're in for quite the ride. But I very much like the... the variety there in the attackers. No, no, come on. Mm -hmm. 
probably should leave the ladybugs alone, I feel. But then again, of course, I at some point I have to take, <laughs> I have to take them on. Oh, come on, mouse, where are you? Okay, maybe I get lucky this time. Because I will try to avoid the ladybugs as much as I can. Oh dear, not the rock. <laughs> yeah, this is my avoiding as much as I can. I was just straight up running into them. Okay, okay. I think this might be possible now. Okay, last one. There we go. Oof. <laughs> okay. All hostile bugs eradicated. Great job, soldier. Is this Starship Troopers? Head back to base. It's time to celebrate. I think you've earned me a promotion. Oh, <laughs> I've earned you a promotion. Uh, thank you for playing Apple Condition Poor. And if you've seen the insides of my refrigerator, I will pass it on and it will have the same condition for the apples. It's not that bad. But okay, cool. I felt like now the balancing was better on the second run where at least I felt like I knew I was doing. So I wouldn't, um, if you didn't uh, uh, spoil it in that much that you said, yeah, during submission hour, you just tweaked <laughs> the difficulty curve. I mean, it, it felt like in the beginning, it was still this half tutorial where you uh, teach players what different enemy types there are. But overall, I felt it was uh, challenging, but possible. Sometimes with my games, if I remember this 65, no, 6502 BC, Anyway, anyway, this this game where there were just too many resources to advance. This was bad. This is not bad. Thank you so much for what was it called? Bug bash buggy. Why am I having so many problems just saying bug bash buggy? Anyway, very cool, very cool. Defender of the Crown says XDP. I haven't heard that one in a few decades. <laughs> that looks like GG to me. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you for submitting your game. I did it, there we go. <laughs> so thank you XP Monster for for all the... the... Okay, look at this, Wendel Skardua, Petri Plate Potpourri. Wonderful timing, there we go. Skardua.net on Blue Sky, the, this form says my hand is invalid for some reason. Okay, now we have it twice, that's good, so it's... Um, what do I have here? Writing, success, write to file. Okay, good. This is just this is just my <laughs> my log of the automated unicorn. But okay, we're 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 good. We're good. Petri played potpourri. On this NES09 oh, slash Famicom game, you are a laboratory assistant. Your laboratory is studying some microscopic creatures in petri plates, but they have been contaminated by impostor organisms which try to mimic the real creatures. You need to examine these petri plates with a microscope and eject antibiotics on the impostors. Is, I mean, do I get strong Dr. Mario vibes here? You can recognize an impostor by looking at the creatures on the plate. They should have one or more features in common, but the impostors won't have the same features. For example, you may notice all creatures are squarish with two fangs except for one round guy and another one with small teeth. Exterminate these. Okay, I love the idea. And this is NES Famicom. Is Are we, are we playing this on an... Should, should I get my emulator ready? Because I tell you, I will... Where are my emulators? Game Boy, PSX, Emulicious, Scum VM. I, I, I'll find it. I, I'll find a, a Famicom emulator. After eliminating all the imposters, you get to see the whole plate. Let's uh, get to the next one. Okay, this is very cool. This reminds me a little bit of pet ski art. When the time's up or if you make too many mistakes, your performance will be evaluated. Will you get to keep your job? Okay, so it's papers please in the laboratory. Okay, on the web emulator, X or Z can be used to start the game and inject the antibiotics. Arrow keys will move the lens around the petri plate. Okay, so I'm just having here the lens. This is what I'm, I'm seeing it. In the end, it will be revealed. Oh, I love this idea. That's very cool. Feels rigged, <laughs> my, my RNG. 
that's that's how you notice a good RNG or a good shuffle function because it it doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay, then um, you know what? Yeah. After bumping the microphone, I'll play this on this thing here. It's not the Famicom controller, but it's the Super Famicom controller, and I have a slightly nervous unicorn here. Good thing I keep my adapters handy. Because the last time I used this one when we were playing the UFO 50 games, if some of you still recalls. Okay, I'm hot plugging this now. Since it's USB, it should work, right? It's easy as pie. Okay, so let's get the NES file. This is very cool. So um, do you already have an NES programming environment then? Or did you just start with plain old 6502 assembly and start hacking it in, in I don't know, Borland <laughs> or something? Or, or was this done with somewhat modern tools? This is very cool. Okay, so let me... Let me find my emulators, 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 NES, there we go. Um, yeah, let's go with Meeson. I like that one. Oh yeah, and this was, <laughs> this was my attempt, by the way, at making NES games. So yeah, this is a, a badly drawn version of me and there it should say, it's so cool. And it's not, as you can see, it's not cool. So if I just look at this, beautiful. And do we have sound even? Yes, we do. Can, can you hear the sound? Chat, please let me know. That's so cool. So now I just need to have the input control set up correctly. Set up, up, left, right, down. Select start, A and B. Cool. So let's see what the chat says. Uh, that's a way to put it. Wendell says, well, when I started doing these, it was 65 or two assembly. Then with C nowadays, I'm using C++ with a pinch of assembly still. That's very cool. I, I think no one ever thought that you could do C++ uh, this high level language for NES games. But I mean, it makes total sense because in the end, if it compiles down to uh, machine code, it should be, I mean, the NES doesn't care uh, as long as it can execute the code, right? Very cool. So, okay, sound is fine. 8-bit coding is an art form. Indeed, absolutely. I tried uh, Game Boy coding and a little bit of NES and Commodore, but never got very far with it. And Misen is the emulator I use for debugging. Okay, good, good. And Ingvar is here. Hey, Ingvar, we're playing an NES game of all things. Okay. Oh, very cool. It even has some sort of um, momentum to it. Just noticed. Oh, does this one look different than the others? Oh, the timer doesn't like me. Or I don't like the timer. Have I already seen the imposter? I mean, it says here there is one green imposter, right? By the way, I really like the concept. Oh, there, I mean, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got... Yeah, this looks obvious. Or, no, <laughs> they all look like this. The red one was the imposter. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, yeah, this is why you probably shouldn't. Does this look like the others? I think it does. This is, but this doesn't. This is why you shouldn't just look at one thing or two things and think, yeah, 50-50 chance one is the imposter. Not so green after all. Okay, there we have green, purple, and gray. Okay, we got another purple one. So maybe it's the gray one then? No! <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So they all have different colors then. That's their 
unifying thing or not? Is the red one the wrong one? Oh no! Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's try this again. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would have kept my job. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, gray, 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 angry, angry faces. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, okay. It ain't the color, okay. <laughs> so, could this be the imposter? Yes! And we got a round boy. The round boy. I killed the round boy in a Petri dish. I fixed Corona. You're welcome. Okay. Ah. Okay, good. Good. Very cool. Very cool idea. And then, of course, executed as a <laughs> freaking NES game. I love this. Okay, they're all round, but you aren't round. Cool. Limbo adds this here, especially the red guy. Another person that sometimes also did NES games made a PS1 game this time. Okay, probably I'm, I'm too loud, so I probably should keep it down. This is why my wife is texting me. <laughs> okay, so many different faces there. Um, I think this is the post. Yeah, okay, good. I need to catch up with the chat. But even with music. Hang on. Okay, this was... Hmm. Oh, wait. Ah... Uh, <laughs> Probably it's because I haven't scanned the entire dish. Oh, this one just has one eye. Or was this the problem that I've had the entire time? <laughs> I was I was so distracted by the guy with just one eye. Hey, look at this. Five. Let's let's try this. Yeah, it's the mouth. Yeah. So are the um, the sprites or the character graphics each time just assembled randomly for every playthrough, because this, again, is very cool. And again, I also like that the magnifying glass uh, moves with this momentum. Okay, are you? Okay, you are the imposter. And then probably this one? No, this was not the imposter. I forgot that I've already seen some purple ones. Yeah. But the mouse mouth was different. Uh, so that it must be the purple one. Yeah. Hmm. It's a neat game. Yeah, it is, right? Now I'm, I'm, I'm itching to make some more NES chip tunes. So we got two imposters here. It's an interesting take there on this memory game, I have to say. Okay, if they have different mouths, then the mouth is not the criteria for the imposter. I mean, they have the same mouths. There's only one imposter. Look at the eyes. They all have this one eye. Uh, should I... 
Should I go for the one-eyed freak? Okay, let's... This was wrong. So it was the green one then. <laughs> ah, anyway, I think I don't be able to, to get beyond my best of five. But Petri played Potpourri. I love the title. And especially I love it that you managed to make an NES game for Ludum Dada. I, I think I've only seen this once before. Very cool, very cool. Thank you so much for submitting. This was very cool. And the concept itself, uh, I mean, this would also lend itself, I, I often say this, but um, to play this on mobile, where you just move around with the finger and then uh, can see, can navigate around the entire dish better. Because I feel like um, the only downside is, of course, you don't get to have a mouse on the NES. I think there was a mouse on the NES. There for sure was a mouse on the Super Nintendo. But I think with a mouse or, or some tap uh, um, input, it would have been a little bit easier or um, more um, direct to, to see what I'm doing. But then again, of course, I mean, you, you planned this uh, in in a sense that the timer is very lenient. And this is also part of the fun that I slowly scan across it and, yeah, do, do my best in being a very bad profiler. So we all should be happy that I'm not working at some sort of border <laughs> and trying to weed out the bad apples. Ah, it's, it's getting intense here, so this is why I take off my headphones for a bit. Um, MaxATP said, yeah, exactly. One must be different. As I said, it's quite neat. It is. The automated unicorn pooped the rainbow because you've been feeding it so much. <laughs> you know what? Um, let me feed the automated unicorn a cookie. There we go. Yeah, I have this entire uh, digestive system programmed for the automated unicorn. I don't know why I did this, and I'm not really... Uh, interested in figuring out what I did, but oh yeah, let's all drink some something. Thank you for giving the order. And Jelly Gang, we're all, oh yeah, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Um, I think <laughs> that's where I've seen it. That's where I've seen it. You know what? Let's play. Let's play Jelly Gang because, <laughs> because it was chosen and right now. So everything except music by Jan Split, Ilavski, music, Josh Freak Jones. Okay, Yeshi said, played Jelly Gang made by Split82, maker of Beat Saber. I mean, yeah, that's, um, wasn't it last time or who, that, that Daniel Mullins won of Pony Island and Inscription? So, yeah. And I think I remember just seeing this where he asked, um, does this uh, make sense, the, the input method here? And no, it does not. But as far as I can see, it's just um, have your mouse cursor over, mouse region over something. And when I looked at this, I mean, this is really, what I like about this is rethinking um, tropes or rethinking modes of input that we already have. Uh, like I said, we have the mouse pointer where it's okay, you have this one point that you can control on the screen, but again for games it totally makes sense to have a region that you can control and something in this region, in this field uh, you manipulate there. And I mean this is already already something. Jelly Gang is a puzzle platform where you control a group of 30 squishy characters. While you can move left, right and jump like in a traditional platformer, only the characters within a focus region around your mouse cursor all respond to your controls. The rest remain physically active but out of your direct control. The camera follows the larger main character, adding a unique layer of strategy to the gameplay. Okay, this this sounds this already sounds very cool. <laughs> okay. A or D for the uh, move left and right, and W or space, and the mouse is, is for the focus. Okay. And we can play it on the web. Okay, this is... that's cool. Reminds me of Kirby Mass Attack, and this is a good... oh yeah, the Kirby games. I love the Kirby games, because they are just so fun. Oh. Okay, walk, detour, gate, and puzzle. And look at this. It's, it's the small things. I move my mouse cursor and all the eyeballs follow. That's nice. Is the music too loud or too quiet? Ingvar says, oh, I remember the guy from Microtroopers. He made for Ludum Lala 41. Microtroopers, Microtroopers. This does ring a bell, a very faint cracked bell. 
in the back of my head and I'm not sure even if it's a bell. Could be an old glass just tumbling over. Okay, music is fine then. Let's try to walk. How the mouse above these tiny creatures and use... Okay. That's cool and makes sense. Camera follows only the big guy. Look, Ma, I'm killing it. Don't leave anyone behind. I try. Use W to jump. Okay, everyone, jump. Jump, everyone. Yes, you can do it. It, it feels like controlling caviar. <laughs> it, it feels a little bit like Gish. Does anyone remember Gish? That's one of the first games where Edmund McMillan, as far as I know, um, played a part in it. Okay. So we have here some characters that can go either up. Okay, also only the big can go up. Of course, this small one probably need to squish over there as well. Okay, this is a very cool, very cool way of interaction and moving about. I mean, this has could be something on the PS Vita. I don't know why the Vita, probably because it reminds me of this other game. We also could control small little thingies. Gish, says Ingvar. Yeah, I see the similarity. Yeah, with Gish, for those who don't know, you also controlled a little blob. Okay, so apparently the big blob has to go. Over there because we can't squeeze them through here. There we go. This wasn't too hard. Come on, little guy. There we go. Okay, A. And we need to have at least five to A. Okay, this is... Ah, cool. But there is B and we need... Okay, we have... We just need one up there for B and... I think we can get five to B. Minus three, okay. <laughs> can I get the big eye through here? Yes, I can. L lots of cool and interesting mechanics in there. And it's also so smooth. Oh, can someone help? this little guy okay good made it oh 12 pound pound ball of tar yeah that was gish okay is there something in this direction then no okay in limbo i think was when you start going the wrong direction you get a an achievement okay five there I think I can get them all across there. But I want to get them all across. Huh. Does this work? Oh. I think it does. And where is C? Okay, we need to get five to C. Why is A still down? Is it too many that I have here? Okay, so. <laughs> it's so simple. 
yeah, I can see this why why this game is rated so highly. one need to get it up there we go okay so I think the idea is that we just take some of them here and have them spill over to see there we go it's a very cerebral level design but it feels very good with this interaction zone this it's hard to explain how it feels but hopefully you can see it all levels cleared thanks for playing jelly game very cool that was very cool and it runs so much better just on html5 than my game maker games <laughs> awesome in a few hours for ludendare 56 this was very cool very cool so what did I miss in the chat? Clever design, noise and them that smart. Indeed, so many smart ideas in such little uh, uh, time. It, it's like four or five levels, but you can see, okay, how this could be expanded to a bigger game. And it's, it's already mesmerizing because you probably noticed that I was getting a bit quiet. <sighs> These ears are so bad for cables, probably should, should go cable. Wireless. <laughs> Here he says, uh, one has to admire the simplicity and graphical cleanness of uh, Jan's games. I always want to make a simple game before a jam, but I always fail and totally overscope. I mean, Yeji, so many of your Ludomar games are very, I, I feel that they are very slick and, and simple. So I, I know what you're shooting for, but I think you're good. I think you're good. Uh, Ingvar says, I wonder if a good game design is more of a skill or a state of mind. Maxi says, both in my opinion, but I guess I'm biased. <laughs> um, I think probably it's, that's a, that's a very good question. My take on it is, I think it's a muscle that you can train, but it's, it's really something that you need to stick with and constantly think in terms of, of game design. Then it just comes naturally because your brain has already... The, the the right grooves to think in game design but it's not something that you can do overnight i would assume cool jelly gang yeah very cool very cool maybe i should just go uh, sequential but then with sequential i always also have to say yes i played this game okay zwadi are you here for highway crossing frog Max is that to my defense, I tried uh, to play for time. <laughs> yes, Zvadin, you're here. Beautiful. In that case, let's have a look at Highway Crossing Frog von... Oh, it's not Zvadin, it's Zivodin. Zivodin. Okay. I will try to remember this and instantly forget how it's pronounced. Zivodin. And most of my time was spent working on a 3D modeling animation <laughs> and figuring out how to get all of that to work in Godot. So by the time I got that working, there wasn't much time left for designing any kind of goals. It's pretty, it's pretty bare bones and won't take long to see everything. F for doing streams, that's great. I think I've seen this before. And my first uh, connotation to this was, Wait, is this Battle Toads for the N64? Because it looks like it. Or is it is it probably your take on Frogger? But I, I mean I like the, the low poly stuff, especially here on the on the Wasp or what it is. And <laughs> you get even the, the Japanese kanji. What does it say? Frog no highway? Okay, play on the web here. Kill wasps, kill frogs, kill cars in this endless beat em up. Ah, okay, yeah, so it, it really, it is Battletoads. <laughs> You're a frog beating up insects, okay. Okay, move whilst and punch is space. <laughs> I like your take on Frogger, so I don't have to get on the logs, I just punch them. And the same with the cars. 
Okay, there is now post-gem version available. The game is still endless, like the gem entry, but with the following features. Kill counter, a special meter that builds up with kills. Roll button, for reasons. New moveset, when special is activated. Effects such as hit stun particles. Still a few more features to come. I mean, since the rating is over, let's play the post-gem version. Okay, Savadin, I pronounced it right then. Now, now I'm completely lost. <laughs> and was going for Frogger of the North Star. I don't know what of the North Star means, but Frogger, I get. I'm that old. It's Kaeri no Ken. Fist of the Frog. Oh, okay. That's... <laughs> That's cool. And then, it, of course, it needs a super uh, bonkers uh, English title that does not work. Maxis says, is there also a button to pay respects? Hopefully it's X. Oh, damn it! Okay, love the music. I mean, that's, that's classic Frogger, what I'm doing here, right? But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Take that car. There's another one. Do I just have to stay in the lane? I think that's it, right? Sorry. <laughs> Take that wasp. <laughs> and I have a special thing that I am not using. Oh, wow. It's like I'm hitting three things or doing three punches at the same time. Okay, and I want to keep this going. Otherwise, I lose my special streak like I just did now. Come on, car. Yeah, the music. I like the music. It's, it's, it's this 80s action rock thing that I'm very much in favor of. Take that log. <laughs> and how can I lose? Probably when the car hits me, right? Oh. Probably. Yes. Okay, so it's still this endless mode. And I can dash to, to keep my streak, right? Okay, now I've lost some health. Okay, this was this was nice. And I like it that even the car's count is kill. I think even the log's count is kill, right? Yeah, the wasps look very good. <laughs> okay, so it's now just this endless mode, right? What are your further plans? Did I just <laughs> kick uh, the wasp that it, it went into its individual parts? It just looked like it, it just exploded. So what are your plans for the endless mode? Maybe maybe some nunchakus or additional enemies? Take this car. So I like the kicking moveset. In that case, I, I really just wish that there are more enemies. <laughs> I think I have the most fun punching the wasps. Yes, yeah, see, this was fun. Okay, so the endless mode means it's not getting any harder, right? There aren't any more enemies. The frog kicks ass. It also kicks log and it definitely kicks car. I get to one. Yes, 
Yeah, this special move is really fun. <laughs> yeah, I think I will I will keep going until I hit 50. And then take on the turtles. Come on, two more cars. Come on, car. Or is there anything? I mean, right now it's... It's logs and then cars again, so is there... Is this random? Which comes after what? Or do you have a certain series where it's always planes after... After highway and then the, the river again. Okay, 50, 55, I, I think. What happens now if I get pushed outside of the bounds? We start over. Okay. I will restart the game now that <laughs> the music gets a little bit quieter. Okay, wow, this was nice. Um, it, of course, as you said, uh, in the end you didn't have more time, but it's already somewhat uh, uh, enjoyable to, to plow through the enemies. Like I said, this is I'd rather have a game that's a little bit too easy to play because then it's easier for me to have fun than instead of it, it just killing me two seconds after I spawn, despite not even having an idea what I should be doing in the game. So um, yeah, let's see what have I missed in the chat. First of the North Star is an old 80s anime. Okay, I haven't heard of this one. Lots of violence. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, more rolling is required, says MaxiTV. Uh, this is every arcade player's revenge dream, says Chris Poo. Indeed, right? As Frogger, it was always so <laughs> so frustrating when you were almost, almost made it past the highway and then you didn't uh, jump on a log. It wasn't there when you needed it the most. Ah... Uh, Svalin says, funny, the music is the only thing I didn't make, just came from a pack I bought a while ago. I mean, it definitely fits the theme. I mean, the music with this production value probably would have taken you, even if you knew what you were doing, probably two days to make just this track. <laughs> I've been there. This is why my music is always more minimalist for Ludendahl, because, yeah, music making takes time. Um, yeah, there's still no goal. <laughs> the frog kicks ass, indeed. Yes, yeah, just dishonestly haven't thought the design that far currently just want to add at least a, a second player mode. Okay, so you play as another frog then with a with slightly greener uh, uh, that has a different shade of green. That, that's what I meant. Um, Ingvar says, gotta go. I have a plane to get. Oh my god, Ingvar, all the best for you playing. You're probably off, but yeah, bye bye. And hopefully I see you next Sunday then for the Halloween stream that happens after Halloween. <laughs> Um, great hanging out with, yeah, as always, great of you hanging out with good old Pixel Prophecy. Maxi says, anyways, time for me to hit the sack. You guys have fun. Maxi, also, thank you for dropping by and hopefully I see you next week. Good night. Yeah, it's already one uh, past midnight. But the good thing is here in Austria or in Central Europe, I think it is, we have uh, the time shift today. It's still a uh, Central European summertime, but in... Two hours, it will be one hour less, which will completely mess me up. And Swadin says, yep, that's it. It just picks from a, okay, from a random segment without repeating the previous one. And yeah, and only since you only have three segments, then of course <laughs> there isn't that much variety to it. So um, that's, that's why sometimes um, it, I only notice it once. That's what I meant. Um, Andrew says, very nice work, Swadin. What a clever and funny idea. <laughs> one free hour of sleep says Yeri. yeah exactly and i many people know how i spent my oh i have suddenly an hour more sleep i will not spend it with sleep i spend it with one of my stupid silly little projects because i have so many going on currently <laughs> um nice thank you so much for highway crossing frog <laughs> it's it's always it, it felt very cathartic um to to finally finally have the cars see their comeuppance <laughs> thanks for checking again yeah thank you for being here thank you for submitting and thank you for being active in the chat like i said it's always nice to have the the devs here by the way with what engine did you make this haven't i seen? oh it was godot of course you you've said this and blender for 3d modeling probably should have should have read this and not click just this one but yeah 
Godot as the engine, Blender for 3D, Krita for textures, MS Paint for more textures when I was in... In the end, I mean, MS Paint, it, it, it's like the, the notepad for graphics. When you're in a pinch, just fire up MS Paint, you know what you're doing. If you just need a box with white text on top of it, MS Paint gets you there. Uh, I mean, you, you, you're done like three times until Photoshop has begun to launch. A good old JSFX or four sound effects. Nice. Um, cool. I want to believe. Yeah, as for next week's stream, I said I want to... Matilu and Co, are you present for Slugs Brooch? Um, next week, uh, I said I want to save a special game for Halloween. And since Halloween is weirdly now uh, not <laughs> on the weekend where I usually stream. Um, yes, Lumon is here. Beautiful. Then I will hit OK. Uh, just to finish my sentence from before, I want to play the X-Files FMV game, which I have there physically behind me, there on the shelf. It's this thing here. So yeah, next, next Sunday. I have no idea what this game is about. Never played it, never heard of it before. Just wanted somehow to, to get it to run on Windows 11 and then we'll have a, hopefully, a spooky 90s X-Files watch party. Slugs Brooch from um, Matelu and co. Okay, let's have a look at Slugs Brooch. <laughs> it's a slug in the headlights. <laughs> I like this already. Okay, so I won't click on this yet. First, let's have a look at uh, that. It's a gem game from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. My God, that's quite a size for a team. Congratulations for finishing anything with this amount of people. Sounds like you're very um, organized. Very cool. <laughs> look at this. Oh no, the wicked government, the wicked government, has built a road right in the middle of your slug farm. I hate it when this happens. Get your slugs to the other side of the roads without them being squished. Slug Brooch is a fun arcade game where you throw <laughs> some slugs and other animals and hope they get to the other side. It's just... <laughs> okay, that's, that's funny. Manage your animal stack, defend it from predators and launch it launch your way to victory uh, okay so we're having some sort of a frogger like game anyway uh, at all in the end look at this and is this a little fox that's so cute and oh look at this it's even harder that's a recycling truck running over this thing here <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Um, right manage your animal stack defend it from predators and launch your way to victory to play drag and drop the animals from the pen to launch to the launch area. <laughs> I just grab them and put them to the launch area. That's funny. <laughs> At the right time and catch the predators. Slugs Bridge and its assets were made by a team of seven people during the jam using Godot, Krita and Beepbox. I have no idea what Beepbox is. Sounds like something to make sound effects. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, look, the slugs are making Roman numerals. Okay, this is... This is funny. Oh, Yeji says, results are published. And uh, the Sebula says, a beatbox is awesome. Okay, so, well, then, of course, I have to check it. Oh, this is beatbox. So, essentially, it's it's like a little synthesizer or, or a sequencer. Okay, cool. And this runs in your browser. I like this. I like this a lot. Very cool. Thank you for... Um, making this known i have no idea and chris says plus one i used beatbox a few times oh okay so i, I i've never heard of this before i'm sorry chris you probably you've, you've said it multiple times and i probably said yeah that sounds cool and he completely forgot about it i'm sorry okay then let's play the game on each io and there is maybe music <laughs> There is music. Welcome to Slug Ranch. Look at this. I have no idea what this is, but it looks delightful. Your slugs were happy. You were happy. One day, they built a road separating your slugs from their feeding field. Alas, the trucks were too dangerous for you. And so, you decided to throw the slugs and other visitors across, hoping most of them would make it. <laughs> As you do. 
Okay, hover objects over no more. Predators eat your stack. Domesticate them by dragging them in the pen. Oh, this is cute. You just take and put it here. Store your animals in the pen. They will reproduce. Watch out for predators. Okay, I like this hover over things. Get your animals to the other side to score points. Cars and trucks will squish your animals. Oh no. Hover objects. Okay, I'm hovering this one. Heart. Okay, we will, we will figure it out. We will figure it out. Okay, is this, a, is this a chicken? Okay, this is delightful. Okay, so let's... The, the music sounded a little bit in the beginning like the, the starting stage with Super Mario Land, no, Super Mario World to Yoshi's Island. When you start a level where it goes dum 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 Okay, then let me just... <laughs> oh no! Oh good, it's, somehow it survived it. Okay, so I just have it here. And depending on... Oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, look at... One made it. Uh, one... Made it. <laughs> oh no. Uh... Okay, another made it. Oh dear, this looks bad. This looks flat. Okay, maybe maybe it's just strength in numbers. Oh uh, no. Oh. At least they reproduce. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Oh no. It, it must be rush hour. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's so sad. But hey, I won. Okay, then let's try. Oh, 20. I need 20 points. Okay, so the trick is to launch them as far as you can before the cars start appearing. Yeah, this probably was bad timing or slightly, slightly good timing. Oh, there's a predator and I domesticate the predator now. And I can, oh, won't reproduce if only one is left. This is very cool that you have this, this help message right where I need it because if it would show up on top or something, probably would, wouldn't have seen it. Okay, so we get four frogs, and the frogs are slightly flatter. <laughs> okay, let's try another frog. Oh, my timing is not that good. I threw the frog right into the car. Uh, hmm. Let's try some more slugs. Uh, I'm, I'm a bad slug farmer <laughs> did i just move the car <laughs> because i launched my creature into the car uh, yeah this was super bad timing but i like this this concept that i have to pay attention on one hand to to this but also to what is happening down here Okay then, are we on level three? It says, oh, this is the pause button. Okay, I thought this was the level indicator. Okay then. So let's just hope for the best. Come on, little sluggy. Uh, well, okay. Oh, this is a snake. good thing is that they only have to make it to the feeding grounds and not to the feeding grounds and back. Mm. Okay, we got some some toads or frogs. I'm throwing frogs on the highway. Yeah, I'm probably not the best frog farmer out there. 
By the way, the music is, is really fun. Oh, look at this. There, there comes a chicken on two legs. <laughs> of course on two legs. I never thought about it, but of course a chicken comes on two legs. What else would it do? Okay, let's try this snake. Oh, that's pretty quick, actually. Huh. I lost? Why did I lose? I didn't... Oh, the time. It was the time. Okay, in that case... Be quick, little sluggies, be quick. Poor one out of four the slugs that bravely sacrificed everything. I mean, I'm sacrificing them for everything. Come on, Froggy! Yes! Okay, I need to make sure that I'm super fast here now. But it looks like I'm, I'm luckier this time. And the good thing is also that the that the frogs yield higher points. So I can always try try some slugs in between the frogs, but I have to make sure that at least the frogs make it across. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to the timer. That was that was my problem. Okay, 19 seconds. Okay, you can... Yes, I won! Okay, good. Okay, 1 minute 40 seconds. Okay, probably I have to... be very... careful now. Yeah, this is not what careful looks like. Okay, when I... Oh, there's a little fox! <laughs> okay, I need 70 points. So I really need that other fox at some point. I didn't pay attention to what is happening on the road, as you can see, because my timing is just awful. Seventy points, and I still got fifty seconds, and I'm very, very much behind. the fox yes what does the fox say don't launch me <laughs> across the the highway okay maybe 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 a frog makes it but 30 seconds and i'm not even halfway there not even halfway there yeah this probably i need to restart this reproduce come on just throwing everything that reproduces here onto the road. Because I need those points. I need those points as quickly as possible. That's an interesting strategic uh, consideration that I have to make. I'm really not that much looking at the road. I'm just hoping for the best. Okay, 44 seconds. Okay, there comes another fox. Hopefully, can get the foxes to reproduce. <laughs> because they yield much more points than my lowly snails. But it would be funny if the snails would also give you more points because they are so slow and you really have to time them better. Okay, 70 points. I won. Okay, this was good. Ah. Okay, so 150 points in two minutes. Okay, is this even possible? H have you... I mean, it must be, right? You have tested your game, right? Right? Come 
Call Froggy. But it's funny that I just take pretty much any animal that I can get and just throw it <laughs> where it needs to go. And this, I mean, the game just tells much more about me as a player than it says, um, actually, uh, I mean, about my actions as a player is really something that is what should make me think, right? Okay, I, I hit the car with the frog. Okay, 52 seconds. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because I need points. Okay, 30 seconds. Maybe that's possible. I just need to make sure that when I use the fox that it survives come on foxy okay I won I won very nice okay this was much more intense than I thought possible but congratulations uh, Lumon Art Nora Art Idali Programmer Tilo Programmer Mael El Maris programmer, Gaspar programmer, and Bisma music. This was, like I said, for seven people to just to coordinate that all these people work on the same thing and make it <laughs> something that in the end compiles that everyone is happy. Congratulations, very nice, very nice. I enjoyed. Um, let me reload this. No, there we go. I enjoyed uh, this thing um the, the the mechanics where i thought <laughs> on one hand yeah it, it it's just just timing right and then it's it's more about okay when can i use the right animal to throw at the right time and it it, it, it was it got me into this loop maybe you can polish it a little bit more maybe with some animals that maybe for example the snake moves in zigzag lines or the chicken just goes in s lines or, or something where the the animals move slightly differently or maybe that uh where it's i have one time use items where i can put up a stop sign or something to to hold off just once a level the the traffic for five seconds or, or something like this but overall i think this is again something that i can see myself playing while i'm waiting in line at starbucks so thank you so much for submitting um slug sprooge <laughs> um right okay what did i miss in the chat um oh results are published yes beatbox is awesome and all results are public says hex to start okay well, now I'm curious to see how my game did, of course. Limbonaut says, 52nd overall, probably our best score so far. Congratulations, almost top 50. Zwarin says, poor one out for the slugs that bravely sacrificed everything. Yeah, I mean, if, if I always pour one out for the slug, oh, the, the entire thing would be flooded, right? And this would be good because everything is full of squashed slug slime. Ugh. <laughs> I just pictured it. 